Hi everyone! Today we're making really delicious mahjong noodles. So mahjong literally means sesame paste in Mandarin and it's one of my favorite ways of eating my noodles along with miso ramen. So these two define my noodle heaven. So last time I had mahjong noodles it was back in maybe 2008 and I was visiting Taipei. It was briefly before I started keto. I went to this really lovely vegan place. They did beautiful noodles. And the margin noodles I had was just so heavenly and gorgeous. And then I went on keto. So I kind of left that behind, but I always recall how delicious it was. So I do make sesame paste from time to time, a version of it. And um, I use it for salad dressing and that kind of stuff. It's really nice on avocados. So I have a video on my channel and showing you how to make that. But today I'm going to follow the traditional recipe and I'm going to create a keto version of mahjong noodles using shirataki noodles. And for those of you who are not familiar with shirataki, um, there's another video I use the noodles um, to make ramen. I'll put a link underneath. So shirataki is basically a traditional ingredient. So you can see that's quite noodly, the little strings. Um, it's made of mountain yam actually, and uh, it has no calories and no carbs whatsoever, and it's full of fiber. So it's quite a healthy thing. And in Japan, it's regularly eaten with sort of hot pots and stuff. So it's quite a traditional um, ingredient. And it's great to use it as noodles. I really enjoy the texture. I really love it. And for those of you who have been kind of put off by shiitake because it's got quite unique kind of smell, it's slightly fishy when you open the packet. And I'm going to show you how to remove that completely. And what you're left with is this beautiful noodles. It goes so well with sesame paste. And of course, just like all my recipes, it's super, super easy to make. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so ingredients you need. So the first thing we need to make the sesame paste is tahini. So this is white tahini. So tahini is basically pure sesame paste. And you can use the darker one as well, it's up to you. And then we need some peanut butter. So what I've got here is the crunchy one. And you can use the smooth and we're going to blitz it so it doesn't matter. So make sure you choose the purest uh, peanut butter uh, you can find. So this is I think is 95%. So make sure there's no added sugar or anything like that. And then we need some soy sauce. So I've got a really fancy one I got from a Japanese shop. I tend to use the traditional soy sauce. You know, I just prefer the taste. But feel free to use the gluten-free alternatives. And then we need some black vinegar. So I had to find this on Amazon. Um, I don't think you can get this from normal shops uh, unless you live in Asia. And this vinegar is really gorgeous. Well, it's vinegar, so it's acidic, but it's really, really intense. Um, it's got sort of herby quality to it. So it's really, really full body. It's called chinkin vinegar. I think it's probably Cantonese, I'm not sure. And um, this is used quite a lot as an ingredient for dipping sauce in Asia. So this is traditionally used for mahjong sauce. Now look up somewhere like Amazon. If you type in black vinegar, this should come up if they do stock it. This is a quite a defining taste for mahjong sauce. But if you absolutely can't find it, then use rice vinegar. And then we'll need some toasted sesame oil. I'm absolutely in love with toasted sesame oil. And this is going to give the mahjong sauce a beautiful flavor. And then we're also going to add in some toasted sesame. So I bought this already toasted, but you can buy raw sesame and then toast yourself. You know, just toast it in a frying pan with dry heat. And this is going to make the mahjong sauce really rich and aromatic. And then for the noodles, of course, I'm using shirataki noodles. And uh, I think two packet is perfect for one person. So when you choose shiitake noodles, make sure you choose the traditional, Japanese traditional shiitake noodles. And you know it's traditional when you look at ingredients. You really should only find three ingredients, and that's yam, water, and a setting agent. If there is any starch 
or coloring or any additives that's added to it. Don't buy it. There are a lot of sort of so-called shirataki noodles out there. It's got colorings, it's got all sorts of things added to it to make it more noodly and that's totally unnecessary. And that kind of noodles is going to wreak havoc to your digestive system and I really don't recommend it. And we also need some fresh ingredients. Uh, we need some garlic, so we're going to add a few cloves in the sauce. To garnish the noodles, I'm going to use some cucumber and also a small chunk of carrots. And they're roughly around the same length and it will become apparent why they need to be. And also a cup of stores of spring onions, my favorite. And this is it, this is all you need. So the first thing we're going to do is to prepare a shirataki noodles. So I'm going to open the packet just to show you what it's like inside. So just drain off the water, the liquid inside. Okay, so you can see it's just white noodles like this. So if you've never had shirataki noodles before, at this point you will go, it smells weird. And it does have a little bit of a sort of slightly fishy smell to it. There's no fish in there, of course. It's just the way it smells. But don't get put off by that. I'm going to show you how to remove that really easily and quickly. So I've drained off the liquid underneath. I'm going to discard that and then give the noodles a quick rinse. Okay, so I threw away the liquid that came with the noodles and then I just run it under the tap water a little bit. Just give it a quick rinse. And then I'm going to add some salt to it. So this will remove the smell. And once we put it through hot water, we're going to cook it, the smell will be totally gone. I'm going to give it a quick mix. And I'm going to leave it on the side and we're going to make the mahjong paste. Okay, to make the paste, it really couldn't be easier. We're literally just going to put all ingredients for the paste in the food processor and blitz it. And of course, you can do it by hand if you're making a very small amount. So the first thing we're going to add in is our tahini. So the quantity I'm going to give you today is going to be in parts, a little bit like cocktails rather than in weight. And the great thing about that is that then you can make any quantity you want. As long as you stick to the ratio, it will taste good. We're going to add in six parts of tahini. So I'm going to eyeball probably about six tablespoons because it's really sticky. So I can trust my eyes and six. Okay, so this for me is roughly about six tablespoons. And then we're going to add in two parts of peanut butter. Again, I'm going to eyeball it. So if you're using tablespoons, it will be two tablespoons. And then we're going to add in three parts of the soy sauce. So I'm using tablespoon this time. So three tablespoons. There you go. And also we're going to add in three tablespoons of the black vinegar. So one, two, three. I really love that herby intensity of the black vinegar. It's so unique. And then we're going to add in two parts of the toasted sesame. So I'm going to add in two tablespoons and two. And then I'm going to add in about four to five cloves of garlic. So the amount of garlic you add is really up to you. Depends on how garlic you like it. And if you know me, you know I love my garlic. So I'm adding tons of it. And then we're going to add in a small amount of warm water, one or two tablespoons to start with. We don't need a lot. So I'm going to just add in a little bit in there and then pull a lid off. And we're going to blitz it. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so that looks quite nice and smooth. Okay, so that looks smooth enough for me. I want my sauce quite thick, so we'll cling on to my noodles. And I think this is perfect. Okay, so the sauce is done. How easy is that? Okay, so now we're going to prepare the vegetables for garnishing. So I'm going to shred both the carrot and cucumber really thinly as much as I can. So I'm going to cut them in thin strips. So I cut them in thin slices like this, and then I'm going to 
just shred them as thinly as possible. I want them to still have the crunch, but kind of thin enough to flow with the noodles. So that's my carrots and put it aside. And then with the cucumber as well. It's a similar size. Okay, so these are my cucumber strips. And then I'm going to do the same with the spring onions. Just take the tips off. So normally I slice my spring onions like this to create little chunks. But in this occasion, I'm going to, again, cut it roughly the same length as the rest of the vegetables. And then I'm going to slice in half like that. And I'm going to shred it like this. So you create some really thin strips as thin as possible anyway. <laughs> okay, so that should be plenty. Okay, so that's my spring onions. Okay, so that's our vegetables for garnishing. So the idea is to have the vegetables flow with the noodles. So I want them to be similar in size. Okay, so let's prepare the noodles. Okay, so here's our noodles been resting on the side for a little while. So now what I'm going to do is to cook it in hot water for a few minutes until it's piping hot. So there's no need to remove the salt. All the salt is going to get cooked away. Okay, so now we're going to assemble the noodles. So in my bowl, I'm going to scoop in two to three tablespoons of this gorgeous sesame paste. So I just put it in a mason jar for storage. So how much you want to put in there is up to you. For me, it's about two and a half tablespoons maybe. And then I'm going to add in a dash of soy sauce, just a small dash. And then here's my shiitake noodles, freshly out of the pot. So you want to drain it quite well, so it wouldn't make the sauce too runny. So it's piping hot, and I'm going to just add the hot noodles into my bowl. It's perfect, it's perfect size. And then I'm going to mix the noodles and bind the sauce with the noodles. Look at that. Look at how creamy and lovely that is. And it smells amazing. It smells really, really amazing. So that's our noodles. And now with the garnishing. So first of all, the carrots. I'm going to just place it there. That's plenty. And then our cucumber. I'm going to just place it on the side like that. So beautiful. And then our spring onions. So what I'm going to do is kind of crunch it up a little bit. So I want to build a kind of a small mountain on top. Like that. Gorgeous. And then we're going to drizzle some toasted sesame oil on top. Generous amount. And then the sprinkle of the toasted sesame. Just liberally. A sprinkle on top. And the last but not least, I'm going to add in this homemade chili sauce. I'm going to share this recipe with you very soon. This is just really gorgeous and so easy to make. I'm going to add a small dollop on the side here. So there you go. Here's our keto vegan Majan noodles. I can't wait to eat it. So there you go. Here's my keto vegan version of Majan noodles. I really can't wait to eat it. So chopsticks ready. It smells amazing. I just want to show you how creamy this noodle is. Just look at that. Oh man. Mm. No words are necessary. It's just uh, a bowl of heaven. Look at that. And I think the noodles the creamy noodles really bring the shirataki's texture much closer to regular noodles. So for those of you who didn't like shirataki before, I think this is going to change your mind. Just look at how creamy, how lovely this is. And the chili sauce is just brilliant. I'm going to give you the recipe very, very soon. This is so good. Really, really, really good. Mmm. I really have no words for it. It's just that good. 
You really need to try it. I can't stop eating it. I've been eating this probably three, four times a week. I can't stop eating it. Mm. This is just so good. It's soul food for sure. So I hope you like today's recipe. We'll give it a go. Please do. You know, there are a few dishes in life that you just feel like, you know, everything is at peace when you eat it. It doesn't matter if it's storm outside, you feel safe and you feel warm. And for me, Maja noodles is one of them. So I normally make enough for a few bowls of noodles and I just save in the jar like this and put in the fridge. And uh, it keeps, you know, a couple of weeks, no problem. Normally it wouldn't last that long, but it should be fine for a couple of weeks. And uh, you can use it for your noodles, but also on vegetables as well. You know, if you dilute it with a bit more hot water, um, it will turn into sesame dressing. You can add it to your salad, to everything. So it's a really good recipe to have. I mean, you can add the sauce to anything. It will taste good. That's how good it is. But I definitely recommend it with shiitake noodles. So I hope you'll give it a go. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I post the food I eat and recipes. And also I've been posting stories and pictures of those of you who are so kind to share uh, the dishes you created using my recipes. And they're so wonderful to look at. So check out my Instagram and check out the stories. So thank you for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.